Let's draw a wood sign. Make a long rectangle. Align it to the center. Use the pen tool to add some anchors to the top. Switch to the direct select tool to select an anchor. Nudge it down with the down arrow. Select the anchors you want to move and move them to make imperfections in the wood. Let's add some wood grain by making an ellipse. With the pen selected, hold Option and click on the bottom and top points to make a corner. I drop the darker brown. Move it onto the wood and resize it as needed. Duplicate it and offset it lower than the other. Make one more rectangle to be the side. Select All, Group, and move it to the side. Using the pen tool, create a jagged edge shape that will use the cutout edge. Draw a rectangle for the sign and center it. You could make another wood piece, but in this case, we'll change it to a faded white color. Move the jagged shape over top of the edge of the sign. Copy it. Select both shapes and use the Pathfinder panel, minus front. Paste the copy and change the jagged shape. Move it to the other edge. Select all, minus front. Create a shadow with the pen tool by using a second color over the sign. Eye drop black. Select it, lower the opacity to 10%. Select both and change to the Shape Builder tool, so you can cut off the overhanging pieces. With the Type tool, add the sign text. Hold Option and use the up arrow key to change the leading between text lines. Hold Shift while using the up and down arrows to change values faster. Move the text to the middle of the sign. Select the sign and text. Group it. Move the wood board into place beneath the sign. Make it a little more narrow with the side handle. Rotate the sign just a little by moving your mouse to the outside edge of a selection. Center them both. The top of the board should be a little rounded. Select the top and pull down the corner widgets. Select all, group, and save it. That's how you can make a wood sign in Illustrator. If you like this, please subscribe for future uploads.